also the dark side of tanning. Melanoma rates among women are skyrocketing. We'll tell you the five biggest mistakes under the sun, including the foods that could put you at risk. it's time to pay attention. There are some disturbing new statistics out about skin cancer. The numbers of young women and children with melanoma, which is the deadliest form of skin cancer, have jumped dramatically in the past 30 years. The probable culprit? Ultraviolet light, both from the sun and indoor tanning beds. But that news does not stop a lot of young people from working on their tans, as you're about to hear. This is mineral oil. Sunburn can make you the butt of a joke. You're going to need sunblock down here. No, you got to use oil if you want to get savage. Feel better. Ah! Oh, man. I think I cooked myself. <laughs> Stick a fork in me, Jerry. I'm done. <laughs> but it's really something to be taken seriously. Former tanning wow. addict Rachel Peterson isn't laughing. I could say at one point I was tannerexic. After many years chasing the sun and heading to indoor tanning beds three to four months out of the year, Rachel's obsession with tanning caught up with her. In February, at just 18 years old, she was diagnosed with melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. I didn't expect to ever have skin cancer. I didn't think it could happen to somebody like me. You know, I'm 18. I'm a young girl. I usually thought it would happen to older people. A quest for beauty that almost turned deadly. Rachel was lucky because doctors were able to remove the cancerous mole before the disease spread. I'm extremely lucky for it to be so quick and simple that I caught it so fast. Today, her surgical scar serves as a constant reminder of how dangerous a suntan can be. It's not worth risking your life just to be out in the sun, to be at the beach with the oil on with all your friends. It's just, it's your life or your skin color. And remember what that young lady said, I thought I was young, it wouldn't happen to me. No, 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 it's when you're young that you have to be most careful. Now, you can read more about the dangers of tanorexia in the September issue of Cosmo Girl. But here's for some tips now. We have dermatologist Doris Day. Doctor, always a pleasure to have you here. And you've told me, that's where I got that from, when you're young is when it's most important. So let's do our five tips here. Uh, the, the first one that we want to start, the tanning bed. Right. Unfortunately, over a million people go to tanning salons every day, and these are mostly young women between the ages of 16 to 29 years old. So it's really not a coincidence that we're seeing the incidence of melanoma increasing. And melanoma is the number one cause of cancer death in women 25 to 29 years old. So this is a young woman's problem. And you're saying you're seeing it all the time, right? I'm seeing it all the time. And the Skin Cancer Foundation is doing a great job in getting the message out that tanning beds are not safe. You know, as dermatologists, we want our patients to go outdoors and have a great time, but we want you to be smart about it so that you're safe. Mm. Now, sunglasses, not just for style. Right. Sunglasses are, have to have UVA and UVB protection, but they also should protect along the sides so that you can prevent that sun from coming in along the sides. Not just about crow's feet. It's about literally protecting that sensitive skin. Exactly. And your eyes, because melanoma can also occur in the eyes. Did not know that. Eyes are vulnerable. Who knew that? See, now we know. <laughs> uh, head protection. Very right. important. Well, you want to protect the scalp, and that's very important in terms of skin cancer, but also you may not know that the sun also affects your hair follicles and can accelerate hair loss. So that's Ooh. another reason to protect your scalp. Oh, I see. I know Sam's ears are perking up right there. He and I talk <laughs> about hair loss all, all the time. Now, also, uh, beauty treatments to avoid. Right. Beauty treatments, you have to be careful also in the summer. Ingredients like alpha hydroxy acids, mm -hmm. things that exfoliate the skin, can make you more sun sensitive. There's also fragrance in a lot of these products, like mud. And that can also make your skin, if you're sensitive to it, there's something called a phytophoto, a plant sun reaction, and that can make your skin more sensitive to sun. So um, also things like waxing can do that as well. So if you have a waxing treatment, that strips off the upper layers of your skin, and what that can do is make your skin more sun sensitive and also more blotchy from the sun. Retin-A, everybody wants to use that, something to look out for. Makes you vulnerable. Retin-A, this is a myth we need to bust. I feel like a one-man myth-busting thing with please, this one. Please, please, bust it. So Retin-A, you use it at night because the sun actually inactivates the retin-A. That's why you use it at night. But what happens is it makes your skin more normal and more healthy. And that more normal, healthy skin is going to be a little bit more sun sensitive. But if you're using it all winter, to stop it in the summer doesn't mean anything. Okay. So you use it, but make sure you use sunscreen and sun protection. 
And, uh, okay, now the foods. It's a hot topic today. Celery and lemon. Tell me about it. Okay, well, I see patients every day who come in with the strangest types of rashes that are really sunburns. So celery and lemon and some other vegetables have a natural ingredient called a sorolin, and this makes you exquisitely sensitive to, to light. So when someone comes in, I always know who the bartender was at that cocktail party or that beach party or who had the Bloody Mary with the celery. They had the streak along their face or the rash between their thumb and index finger or people who put lemon in their hair. You get this reaction. It's a very strong sunburn reaction from these types of products you have to be careful I did not know this Dr. Doris Day always so many great tips thank you so much Thanks appreciate for it thank and a lot of information here so go to abcnews.com get all these tips for yourself again if you need them when we come back Miley Cyrus the big question will she stay or will she go you'll get the answers right here